Mr. Sati, could you explain to us or elaborate on the inspiration behind the jewel? Well, when we started thinking about what might be an attraction in addition to all the other things that are here, I was thinking of doing some myst mystical garden. Like every culture has a garden in its history, the Garden of Eden, uh, the Paradise Garden. And for myself, uh, I was thinking of uh, the film Avatar uh, and that extraordinary landscape with suspended rocky islands filled with lush trees. I was saying if we could create the Avatar Garden here, like Cameron did in the film, we'll be going uh, in the right direction. Are you happy with uh, what you see today? I think it's uh, as good as Avatar. I'm very happy. Right. And you know, you're also doing the new Marina Bay Sands Tower. Yes, uh, could just, you give us a bit of a hint? Well, we're just beginning the design. The challenge is to make something which complements the existing towers, which have become part of the landscape of the city. Complement it, uh, stand on its own right uh, as its own icon, but uh, be harmonious as a symphony with the, with the rest. So in a sense, it's like creating the yin to the yang. Okay. Uh, I've been coming here for 40 years, working here on many different projects. Uh, I'm, I'm a part-time Singaporean. Okay. Is it easy working with Singaporeans? I think it's a pleasure. I think there's a good spirit of cooperation and there's a great enthusiasm. Uh, it's an optimistic place. Okay. And how do you see architecture developing in Singapore? I think it's uh, coming of age, I think. I'm enjoying seeing the uh, number of young Singaporean architects beginning to produce significant work and work that appears and feels uniquely Singaporean. Okay, that was a tagline. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank having me.